A few years ago, a pair of Haywood County twins were born premature. Now they're known for their strength beyond their years. News 13's John Lee tells us why they're now a beacon of hope for so many families. Hey girl. The simple moments of motherhood. Uh, stand up and put them on. The battle to apply bug repellent. Hold your hand out. <laughs> no, ma'am. You'll squirt it everywhere. This is the time of Rhonda Hambrick's life. Let's go swing. Uh, my and my body. I put some on your belly. Her three-year-old twins, Callie and Georgia, now in the upswing. Make it go big. There you go. If you go much higher, you'll fall out. Perhaps born to inspire us all. I knew that they were going to be strong little girls. Something just told me that they had the will to fight and they were going to do it. I had kidney failure, so therefore they had to take them. They were born May 26, 2010 at 23 weeks gestation. The numbers, so um, shocking. At 15 ounces each. She doesn't have her third layer of skin right there. Rhonda wasn't even allowed to hold her babies until they were nearly four weeks old. Their feet were so tiny that they were as little as the end part of your pinky finger. Their chance of survival just as small. 10%, four days. So. But sometimes experts can't measure the power of faith. There are definitely two miracles. She, you, she can play with your shovel. It's okay. They prepare you for so many things to be wrong with them, you know, cerebral palsy, um, so many learning disorders, learning defects and everything, and they've actually conquered just about everything that they thought that was going to happen to them. Today, the twins are ambassadors for the March of Dimes, the poster children for strength beyond their years, helping others following in their tiny footsteps. It just means so much because family struggle. Here you go. Like so many preemies, Georgia has lingering issues with her vision. Go ahead. Working regularly go. with teacher Karen Bayer. Their story is just unbelievable to me because these babies were born so small and so young and they're doing fantastic. In that one in ten chance of survival, now a distant memory. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> Get off of me. In Haywood County, John Lee, News 13. <laughs> oh, they are so They're adorable. Sisters, yeah. Well, they each weigh more than 20 pounds now. Great progress. When you consider just a few years ago, they were actually smaller than a 16 ounce soda can. Mm. I can't believe how they could survive. Makes our heart but, feel good. Yeah. yeah.